Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many data scientists encounter when working with H2O in our studio. Our viewer is running H2O on a Linux server with a whopping 64 gigabytes of RAM, but when they initialize the cluster, it only recognizes about 9.78 gigabytes of memory. They've tried adjusting the max mem size parameter, but it hasn't made a difference. So how can they allow H2O to access all available memory? Let's dive into this challenge and explore some potential solutions together. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. To allow H2O to access all available memory on your Linux server, we first need to understand the memory limitations set by the Java Virtual Machine, or JVM. When you initialize H2O in R, you can specify the maximum memory size using the max mem size parameter. However, if it's not working as expected, we need to check the JVM settings. If you find that H2O is still limited to a smaller memory size, you can start H2O directly from the command line with the JVM option by XMX to set the maximum heap size. To avoid starting H2O from the command line every time, you can modify the H2O startup script or configuration to include the Maisht XMX option by default. Finally, after making these changes, restart your R session and initialize H2O again. You should now see that H2O can utilize more memory, reflecting the changes you've made. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To allow H2O to access all available memory, use the max mem size argument in the H2O R package. This lets you start an H2O cluster of your desired size without needing command line options. If you're connecting to an existing H2O cluster at localhost FEF4321, it may be limited to a fixed memory size, like 10G. Running h2o.init will connect to this cluster instead of starting a new one with your specified memory. To resolve this, you can either kill the existing H2O cluster and restart it from R with your desired memory, or start a new cluster from R using a different IP or port. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To allow H2O to access all available memory, start with the command h2o.init. Make sure to set the min mem size argument to specify the minimum memory H2O should use. Additionally, you can use the max mem size argument to limit the maximum memory H2O can use. This helps manage resources effectively. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
To allow H2O to access all available memory, you can specify the maximum memory size when initializing H2O. For example, if you have 6 GB of memory, use the command h2o.init with max mem size set to 6 G. For more details, you can check out the link provided for additional information on using more memory with H2O. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.